Hi, it's Nalini, and I wanted to talk to you about the energies of August 2020. It's the 3rd of August, today is the full moon, and wow, um, July was intense and choppy, and it's really not going to let up for about the next five months, you know, into 2021. There will be a smoother patch. Is smooth the right word? I'm not sure. Definitely not less intense after the 15th of the month. But for right now, we have this incredible opportunity to use the intensity, you know, channel it into something productive. Use it to just move forward on the things you want to do, the things that light you up. And if you don't know what that is for a moment, go out in nature, take a walk. You know, have a little mini adventure in any of the ways that we're still allowed to do at the moment. And let your heart open, let your heart move into this new space that we're all in. This month is all kinds of tipping points. I can't say it's just one. We will be faced with all kinds of stuff, everything that's bubbling up, everything that doesn't want to go forward. The truth about this transition we're in is that nothing from the old cycle will go through into the new, especially in the old way. It just isn't going to happen. And that includes each of us. It includes me and it includes you. So it will be a new you that goes into this new space, this new reality, and you'll create it as we all do from the inside out. So this month, really focus on what lights you up, what's positive, what you enjoy, what you love, and do more of that. Pay attention to your body, be gentle with it. You know, practice self-care, see what you need. And we're not talking self-indulgence, you know, but really see what you need and practice that, you know, along with your other practices. Spiritual practices will really help you right now. And by that, we mean meditation, mindfulness, movement. And what used to be called in the old cycle, keeping the company of the holy. And what does that mean? Well, it's a word. What it means is spending most of your time with or even virtually those who are more like vibration. It's all about resonance. You know, resonance always finds its tribe. And when we internally come to a tipping point where our resonance is more of what we are, our oneness, our essence, than anything else, then the reflection of that will show up in the world around us. It hasn't quite yet because everything is so shifty. Everything's all stirred up. We're all in the blender. But as we practice that, more and more of our essence comes together. It coalesces into a point of light that will both radiate and attract other points of light that are similar or the same, actually, as we are, as a part of that oneness. This August, it's just all kinds of tipping points. What else can I say? The blender is on full and we may feel great for a while, for one day, for a few moments and really weird for a couple of moments. And we may go through these strange bodily symptoms. Don't take them anywhere but to heart. Relax, let your body heal, do what it asks you to do and be the being that you are. You actually do know how. And this is the time. So rest, take care of yourself, pay attention to what matters. Stop worrying about, you know, if you need to do any of all that other stuff. You don't. If you're not doing it, then don't. And just be well. Take good care. Blessings to you all.